I was recently strolling down a grocery store aisle in France when I noticed something pretty strange. It was this, a glass jar of snails marinating in some kind of questionable uh, liquid. And this kind of stuff always piques my curiosity because it's not something you would usually find in a grocery store in the US. And the more that I started looking into it, it turns out that France is the world's leader in snail eating. They eat somewhere between 20 and 25,000 tons of snails every year. That's close to 700 million individual snails. So in this video, I want to learn more about this crazy cultural cuisine and maybe even get to try some of it for myself. Don't get me wrong though, because the French are by far not the first or only people to consume snails. It turns out human beings have been eating them for thousands of years. There is even evidence of roasted snail shells that's dated back to the Roman Empire, when even then they were considered an elite food. And today they're eaten all over the world and oof. Oh my god, whew, those smell quite a bit. Uh, they're eaten all over the world, especially in countries throughout Europe where whew, they're used in sauces and uh, they're poured over pastas, pizzas, etc. One of my only encounters with uh, snails while traveling has been in West Africa when I was staying with a host family in Nigeria and they threw a dinner party where the main course was giant African land snails. And if you've never seen one of those, they're basically the size of your entire forearm. But that is a story for a different time. All right, so oof, these things are pretty ugly looking. <laughs> to meet the world's high demand for snails, they've started to raise them on farms. And it can actually be pretty dangerous to just pick up a snail from the wild or from your garden and eat them because they go through a pretty complicated cleaning process. It starts with putting the snails on a water fast for three days to start the purification process. Then I believe they're fed either either flour or carrots for seven days before they're ready to be cooked. And these kind of snails can be found in stores all over the Mediterranean area. They're soaked in this type of salt water uh, brine solution, which probably sounds a little bit familiar if you saw my recent Sir Strumming video. And we're actually gonna be going to a store that's basically the mother of all escargot shops, which is right down the street, to pick up all of the ingredients for a hot batch of of traditional French escargot. Later in this video, I'm gonna be meeting up with a real French chef who's gonna teach me exactly how to cook escargot in the most traditional way possible. And in a minute, I'm gonna challenge myself to go to the store and order all of the ingredients necessary only speaking French. So to prepare for this, I have been learning French with today's sponsor, Lingoda. Learning a new language is important not only to show the respect you have for the people you meet during your travels, but it also opens you up to experiencing a new culture in a completely unique way. Lingoda is an online language school that connects students across the world with native speaking teachers in live immersion classes to learn a new language. Lingoda currently offers classes to learn English and business English, Spanish, French, or German, and they host group sessions on Zoom to help students expand their listening comprehension, speaking, reading, and writing skills, as well as cultivating a deeper understanding of the culture. The interface is very easy to use. You can sign up for classes, view the syllabus, 
and know what classes are coming up. And once you've signed up for Lingoda and chosen a language, which for me is French, you have a few different options for how you want to use Lingoda. One option is the Sprint program, which requires you to take 15 language learning classes per month for three months straight. If you take every one of your classes, Lingoda will refund 50% of your course fee. Since I've been spending so much time in France, I've been excited to schedule in some classes so that I can take what I'm learning online with me into the real world. And one of the things that makes Lingoda so unique is that they pair you with native language speakers that can help work on your accent so you sound as natural as possible. Also, they give you the confidence to have real world conversations rather than just struggling to to survive through the basics. Which, speaking of that, I think it's time for me to go put what I've learned so far to the test by going and ordering all of these ingredients for the traditional escargot. So, on y va, let's go. Bonjour madame. Ça va? Je m'aille l'escargot s'il vous plaît. Est-ce que vous vendez des assiettes et des couverts? Pour les escargots? Là. Mm -hmm. Et les coquilles par-dessus. Still need to uh, practice my, uh, my French on Lingoda. It always gives me a bit of anxiety practicing a new language uh, <laughs> uh, in, in public. <laughs> Avin pour avec les escargots? Oui, oui. Le blanc. Le vin blanc. Vous en voulez? Oui. 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 Merci. Merci beaucoup. Merci. Au revoir! <laughs> we are now continuing the escargot adventure. <laughs> so we've just gotten the cheese grater and now we're gonna pick up the shallots and the garlic, which is a uh, shallot and ai, which is uh, garlic. And one baguette only costs one euro. <laughs> Next we have the persil. Beurre, butter. Last but not least, the cheese. <laughs> we officially have all of the ingredients and we're ready to get started. All right, so I kind of passed that first test of my French, but it could have been better. And as you guys know from the other sponsorships on this channel, I love a good challenge, which is why I'm gonna be taking on Lingoda's Super Sprint program, which means taking 30 language learning classes per month for three months straight. If you want to join me on this language challenge, Lingoda will refund 100% of your course fee if you show up every day to learn, which is up to $1,300. You can sign up with my link and use my voucher code Lexi20 to get 20 euros or $25 off your course deposit. Don't forget that you can receive 50% or 100% cash back when you show up for all of your courses. Now, with that being said, it is now time to go meet up with YouTuber extraordinaire and French chef, Charles from Fast Good Cuisine. now just arrived with my friend Charles here who is a French chef and he's gonna be showing us how to make this pretty interesting recipe here we've got all of the ingredients put together now and uh, I don't want to look too closely at these snails they look, look at uh, this, this beautiful <laughs> oh it smell it smells a little it bit. Smell the, it smells a little weird. We're gonna do the recipe, and after the taste will be great. Will be even Perfect. better. Well, where should we where should we start? Okay, the first things we're gonna do it's uh, a typical butter for the um, escargot. So we're gonna do like a maître d'hôtel mm -hmm. butter. So mm -hmm. first Perfect. things, take the garlic mm -hmm. and. You we need to um, finally dice yes. it. Do you want to do it? All right. Yes. Do you want the knife? <laughs> yeah, I think I got. I think I got <laughs> it. Uh, perfect. Yeah. Okay. Oh, 
Okay. All right. So it's really important to, to, to cut the garlic really fine. Really thin? Yes. It's the first time you make escargot. <laughs> Can you tell? <laughs> Probably sure, yes. Okay, so we're gonna put the garlic in this plate. I'm gonna do the same with the uh, shallots. I'm going to cry on your video. Yes, oh, the first video. <laughs> I'm crying. They are pretty strong. <laughs> Please just like the video. <laughs> Because I'm crying. Because he's crying for this. He's going through a lot emotionally. We're gonna keep just a little bit of um, parcel uh, for a surprise that I have for you for another recipe. Mm, okay. Next step, we're gonna add the butter mm -hmm. in the first preparation. And this butter is already salted. A lot of butter. This is a <laughs> solid amount. <laughs> and. After that, we mm -hmm. add some pepper. Butter just makes everything taste better. Yes. And now, really easy, just squeeze the butter. This is uh, this is diet butter, yes. right? It's for the summer body. Okay. It's perfect. Yeah, that was that's <laughs> definitely the goal. One <laughs> snails and you take one kill. The butter is. Perfect. Butter is finished. So now... So this is actually something that surprised me when I, re when I was learning about the recipe for escargot is that it doesn't just come in the shell. They actually have the shells empty beforehand and then they put a bit of the butter yes. inside first. They place the uh, snail in it but not too far because it can be hard to, to take them out. And, and then butter they, again. And then they top it with uh, with butter. But I've always like whenever I've seen this in restaurants, it's just appeared that it yeah. was it came like this, but it's actually. But now we're gonna prepare. Steps. Sink a little bit, but little bit. It's I, I love when it's little bit too much. Mm. So I think the garlic is really the garlic butter is what we're all here for when it comes to eating escargot. So I don't think you can have uh, too, too much. much. I wonder who was the first person to pick up a snail and think, ah, this could be, this, I think we have something good here. But do you know the, the story about the first person who discovered? No. Um, it's a whole, whole story about the, the Tsar in uh, uh, Russian, the Russian uh, Tsar. Oh, Tsar, yeah. Yes, who, who came in France, but the restaurant have nothing. So they say, okay, we need to have something for the tsar. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. okay, I will take snails and... And make something amazing out of yes. it. Yes. <laughs> All okay. right, so we got the snail inside. Now we're going to top it off with a healthy portion of butter. <laughs> that looks so perfect. Okay, oh. and now we're going to do all the plates. Looks and after perfect. we bake for 10 minutes. It's quick. That's it. It's quick and easy. Really quick. All right. Let's finish them up. All right. Let's go. Ten All minutes. Right. <laughs> so, new recipe, especially mm -hmm. for you. I will try to do like a French. We call that in French. We call that tartine. Do you know tartine? Mm -hmm. No. Tartine is a typical French dish. It's really easy to make. It's just bread, and you spread something on it, mm -hmm. and it, that's called a tartine. Yeah. So we have French baguette. We're gonna take a little bit of, mm -hmm. little bit, just a little bit, mm. and spread it. Yes. I'm gonna take this one and put it on a pan. Okay. Okay? A little bit more butter. Uh, we take the bread. Just. Wow. Ready? Yes. Oh my gosh. That it's 
possible to make something that looks this amazing right right from your own kitchen. And um, the smell. So, it smells so strong. You can still really pick up on the onions and the garlic and you can just see that this butter has pooled at the bottom of, <laughs> of the plate. We've got these uh, already pre-garlic butter soaked bread to go with it, which uh, and we, this was a nice touch. And we need, <laughs> we need to finish. It's not finished. Oh, it's not finished yet. Oh, Almost yeah. finished. Okay. And we have the wine, white wine. White wine to go with it, nice and light. And we also have the, uh, the typical clamps that you use and the little forks to, to eat the escargot, to fish it out of the, uh, the shells. So we're very prepared for this, uh, for this little endeavor we have going here. <laughs> Do you want to try? Yeah, sure. I'm, uh, mm -hmm. I'm like the, the waiter. <laughs> Please, madame. Oh, marvelous. <laughs> okay, right. perfect. I think it's time. First part. So, it kind of seems like these, uh, these clamps are shaped similar to, yes. to the, uh, we just the shell. Ah. Okay. Perfect. Wow, all of this butter is just dripping off of these. Got With the little, the forks. little fork, you take it. Oh. oh, yeah. Take care because it's really hot. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. It kind of has the a similar texture to like clams or mussels with a way more like earthy like, tone. Thinner than a mussel because mussels you need to, to yeah uh, kind of chew them. Yes. This one it basically this just like, melts in your mouth. Yes, it's, it's so the melt of the burger texture. and after the the, the escargot melt mm -hmm. in your mouth. It's crazy. So, so what's going on with this? Uh, so with this, take this one. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we're gonna put one or two or maybe three snails. Okay. So. Like this. Okay. Extra butter. Mm. <laughs> okay. Now it's time for the best part. <laughs> cheese, French cheese. Wow. Now. Back in an oven, two minutes. Ooh. That's gonna be so perfect. Put the melted cheese over it perfectly. Just a little bit more. Oh my gosh. Tiny touch. Cheers. <laughs> You've outdone yourself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was the best bite of escargot I've ever had in my life. What what do you prefer? Alone or with Definitely the bread? this. This was like the best. Your invention was perfect. Uh, and wow. I can't believe that we've you know, discovered our own new little recipe for for something that's been like passed on through French traditions for Perfect. like a thousand years, yeah. <laughs> thousands of years. And do you you say to the, to your subscriber what we are going to do tomorrow? Tomorrow we are going to be sitting down and tasting many different types of traditional French cuisine uh, over on Charles's channel, Fast Good Cuisine. So you should definitely check that one out. Escago will be the easiest part. Oh gosh. I just want to say uh, frog, frog. Oh man, oh, I guess it's gonna be a, it's gonna be an interesting, uh, interesting experiment. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. It was so fun to dive into a, you know, a unique aspect of French culture. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and I will catch you guys next week. And if you are French, mettez bonjour dans les commentaires. Oui, oui! <laughs>